Did you bring me a hamburger? A hamburger? Okay, and now before you came in here, first of all, who sent you here? Somebody sent you here. Nobody just walks in here. Um, oh, yes, that's true. That is true, but nobody does that, okay? So what I'm going to need you to do, I'm, I, I guess we're playing games today. That's okay. I don't mind playing games, but I'm very hungry. What I'm going to need you to do, you see this little this little case here, this little container, this paper. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to need you to put a burger in there. You put a burger in there. You do want to do a transaction, correct? Well, that then you need um, well, I don't know what that's a euphemism for, but it's not a burger. Hopefully, as we conduct our business here, you will remember where it is, and you will place it in here. I will remind you about it in a little bit. So, you're telling me, you're telling me that you don't have it. Okay. Did you bring the vacuum cleaner bags? The brown vacuum cleaner bags? And they have a number on them. If you'll just give me a second, I'll look that up for you. Um, give me your uh, name. What is your, uh, what is it, your totally legitimate name? That's actually... No, 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 that's not your, that's not, your, I'm talking about your, come on, you know, like the illegit, the name that you were given to use when you came here. Okay, you're new at this, aren't you? <laughs> no, it's okay, I can tell. Okay, um, I can't exactly explain, do you see that little red light up there? That's a camera. I don't know if you can tell, it just looks like a little orb up there. That's actually a camera, and I am not supposed to give people hints and stuff, because sometimes we have people come in here who may want to start trouble, and I am not supposed to help you. I am not supposed to help you, because I can get in trouble, do you understand? So, just, um, just go ahead and tell me then, I'm going to give you a name, okay? You look like your name would be, I'm going to call you, I'll call you Jamie. That's your name, Jamie Smith. Your name's Jamie Smith. And your date of birth, um, I'm not good at guessing ages. I'm gonna say your birthday is December 5th, 1994. I didn't mean to insult you, I'm sorry. You're probably just tired. You know, you know, when I'm tired, people think I'm really old. It's okay. Look, it doesn't actually it's not like anybody is going to know it was actually you, and that's the whole point. So, <laughs> of course we have, of course we have scrap cars. I, why would we not? This is a scrapyard. Yes, we have, we have a wide variety of cars with uh, parts, and so depending on what kind of part you need, come in here and you ask for specific things. For example, would you happen to be interested in a throttle body for a 1992 Tercel? That's a good one. I haven't had that request this week. Let me look it up. No, no, I'm just going to give you an example. Tercel Toyota. 
sure sell. It's a great little car, by the way. I almost bought one, but I opted for the Sentra because it was slightly cheaper and it was a little bit larger. The car was a little bit bigger than the Tercel. And the Sentra was good too. In fact, do you, do you need um, a trunk lid for a 1998 Sentra? We just got one. And it's, it's, um, it's premium too. Let me tell you, it is, uh, you're gonna like it. <laughs> um, totally, totally on the up and up though. So we're looking up that Tercel. Alright, I have one. Um, for that throttle body, you get uh, the full size with the throttle body. That's going to be $3,700. And it's worth every penny. I promise you, you will not regret it. You will become a Toyota Tercel fan overnight. You'll be coming back asking for more. I don't think that's an unreasonable price for a throttle body at all. What would you pay for it? Right, right, assuming it's scrap from a scrapyard, yeah. Of course. I mean... <laughs> okay, um, now I think $10 is, that's, that's not even a low ball, that's like an insult. Clearly you're not familiar with our products here. We have the finest quality, um, scrap of any dealer. And that is why we've been in business so long. Plus, we're very discreet. And, um, you know, we, we know how to handle ourselves. So, if you, uh, if you ever are interested in a sampler, now, are you interested in maybe, since it is your first time and you're making things difficult for me, um, what about, what about the, um, did anybody tell you about the Whitman sampler? We are running a special on that this month, but the month is almost over. I only have a couple left. Would you be interested in a Whitman sampler? Why does you being oh what is you being allergic to chocolate have to do with it? Oh my god. A Whitman's sampler. Do you know what that is? A Whitman sampler is where I'm going to give you a box and it has a lot of little things in it and it's different types of things. They're not all the same. So you can sample a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Then on the underside of the thing where um, there's like a little plastic thing in there that holds the samples and it's going to tell you what you would ask for. So if you find a sample in there that you really like, you can go back here and you know what to ask for next time and you will not put me through this nightmare again, which would be really great. Um, so, but let me tell you, if you get the Whitman sampler, do you have one of these? Do you have a magnifying glass? Because if you don't, I have a whole bucket of these. I can sell you one for five dollars. And so what you're going to need to do, you go home because the print for the description of what you're going to need to call it is written very tiny. That way it's not quite so noticeable. You know, like if the wrong people got a hold of the women sampler and they started looking at it, they might not notice it, especially since, you know, a lot of the detectives around here, are, they're really old and they can't see anyway. They're like half blind. So that's why I make it really small. And I've made a fortune on So, I mean, you could just like, you're just gonna take the plastic, it, it's like a little, you know, kind of like an egg carton, but it's plastic, and you turn it upside down, and you just make a note of where the, the sample was that you liked, and you're gonna look at it like that, and, and then you'll know, you'll be able to know what it is, but you're gonna have to commit it to memory, because we do not want you to write it down anywhere, okay? Because if we catch you writing it down, we'll have to ban you from the store and then when you come back I have a dog in the back that's specially trained to tie to this dog bites people in the ass and I'll have to let it out so if you won't leave I will, you'll end up having your ass bit by a dog and that would just ruin your weekend so don't do that don't write it down you have to get really good at memorizing things if you're gonna shop here okay 
I don't know what establishment you have been frequenting up to this point. And what do you mean? Um, I'm trying to explain how this works, risking my job in the process. I don't know. You're like really confused. Okay. Well, why don't... Let's back up. Let's back up. Is this starting to look familiar to you? No? Okay. I'm slowly starving. basic thing that you can think of, like, what motivated you to come here today? We'll just start there. Mm. Well, now we do have, um, I, I don't want to speak without knowing for sure. Now, what year is it? 2002. Camry? Mm-hmm. Camry. So you like those Toyotas, huh? You do kind of look like somebody that would enjoy a, a, a good Toyota. Alright, Camry. Um, any special trim? I don't think it actually matters for what you're asking for. So you need the motor. You need some... Do you want the whole thing or do you just want components? of the, you talk about the power window, the motor for the power window, um, you're talking about the driver's side, okay, driver's side. Um, I happen to have one, I have one, mm -hmm. I could tell you where it is, that is gonna be on row L, and you'll be able to see it, I mean, you're gonna know it when you get out there, that is gonna be row L, and then you're gonna have to go down five. So you're going to walk out there, find, and all of the rows of cars are labeled. So you just go to L, do, 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 you know, start at A, B, C, D, you know, because it goes way back. Now don't get scared, because by the time you get back to L, you're going to be kind of in the woods a little bit. Um, it's not too bad out there. Um, a, little, a little bitey, it might be a bear. Go on back, and then you're going to go to your left, and you go to the fifth car. And that is where you can find it, and then you'll get your motor. Now, do you also need an antenna? An antenna? Hmm? Nice, good, stiff antenna? Sound like something you might want to purchase while you're here? You know, that's very popular, especially on date night. We have some. I have a whole bottle. Of, I mean, I have, I have a whole bunch of antennas. Mm hmm totally. Not that I'm not talking about anything but car parts. So, would you be interested in maybe getting a bottle of those? You can pick that up. Now, if you do get the, the motor for the window, I could sell you an antenna for $300. And now that is a deal. You ask anybody, you go, I don't care where you go, that is a fantastic. And I am trying to do you a favor because I feel like you have really stepped out of your comfort zone to come here. I bet it does seem weird here. I bet it does. Hey, but you know what? I'm really proud of you. Like, you know, a lot of people like you, you know, like, you seem like a normal, ordinary, everyday person, you know, very... And this is going to come out bad. I don't mean it to, but kind of bland. Like, you know, you're like plain oatmeal, and I don't mean that in a bad way, because we need more plain oatmeal in the world, you know, you're not spicy, you don't even have any, like, syrup or sugar, it is just oatmeal, straight up, so it had to be really hard for you to come here today, and I commend you for that, but I'm just curious to know, because you seem very buttoned up, who, who sent you here, 
because typically with your type, I know who I know who it might be, but I don't want to call anybody out. He's the organist of the church. Do you know him? Well, honey, we have gotten so much business from him. Let me tell you. Now, he is a big fan of the antennas. He gets them for free because he has um, sent so many people here looking for car parts. And I just, most of my button down people come from, from Robert. So I just figured maybe you knew him. Like, um, I think he works at the bank, uh, Camden First Bank. Yeah, Camden first. Do you bank there by any chance? And do you know Robert? I don't actually know his last name. I don't even know that Robert is his first name, but he is so straight laced that it probably is. <laughs> like he uses his real name. Like me personally, I don't even have a name, so I, it just makes everything simpler to just not have a name at all. Unfortunately, the customers have to have a name because um, I keep a little. But don't worry, because we don't let anybody look at this. Um, so, and nobody's going to mess with it. So we can put information in here. And it's not like it's real anyway. So, yeah. So Jamie Smith, I need you to remember that. So if you do come back, you just need to make sure, like, because normally I'm not here. And you will probably never see me again. Um, but... If, you know, if you do need to come back, just remember that your name is Jamie Smith, okay? No, that's your name. Well, that's what you look like to me. You look like your name would be Jamie, so that's your name for now. Um, are you interested in any Windex? Because we do also have a little bit of a special on Windex and wipes. Windshield wipes, the little disposable wipes that you um, maybe um, apply the Windex to. And we can give you that for a real bargain today. Let's just say you want to um, really enjoy your car. Like you want to be able to see out of the windshield. Let me tell you, if you take this Windex home, especially with the wipes, you are going to see like you never saw before. It will change your life. You will never look at anything the same ever again. Oh, honey, it is not a sales technique. I am not, I am not using a sales technique. I am telling you because personally, let me, I get to speak personally for the Windex. Um, because I took some home. Don't tell anybody because I didn't pay for it. But I took some home with one of the wipes the other night. I never saw it like that. It was amazing. And I just took a little bit of Windex. And so, um, I'm just thinking maybe, you know, we could give you a little sample of that. You know, if you want, I could take you back in there and give you a spritz and you can just sit with it for a little bit and see how you feel about it for, say, maybe 20 bucks. And, uh, and then we can go on with our transaction. Um, I don't know that store brand window cleaner is going to do it. Especially, oh, not great value. Oh, you can't, no. No, you got to get the Windex. What are you doing with your life? See, my thinking is you have waited way too long to break out of your comfort zone. And now that you have broken out of your comfort zone, you've kind of spun out a little bit and you've lost control of the car. And it's just like you're driving down the road and you see one of those slow crashes. Like, you can just see the person, like, they're just doing like this and then they lose control and it just spirals from there. And all you can do is watch from the back and go, oh, no. I would really hate to see that happen to you. Maybe you're not ready for Windex. Let's not start you with Windex. How about, hmm, how about some carpet cleaner? 
You like to you like to do that? You like to clean some carpet? We have some um, Formula 409 carpet cleaner. Now this is the aerosol spray. Let me see if I have any of that. Now you said you have a Camry. I think we have something in your price range for that. The 409. Um, oh, look at this. I can get you a trial size, one of the little travel size things of it. For, uh, let's see, it's normally $500. We're doing that for $425. Uh, just until the end of the month, which is coming up, like I said. Are you interested in a little travel size? I can't really give you anything smaller than that, because then there's residue. And if it got on the floor or anything, let me tell you, people could find because they come in here with those dogs and they can smell things and it's just not worth the risk so no you can't go back there right now what are you doing we have not finished our transaction I was just letting you know once we completed everything and you had finished your shopping in here I was going to tell you where to go to get what you purchased and your motor for your rear do you actually need a motor for your power window? It'll be there. It's there. Like, I'm telling you, we do have one there. L5. It's there. But, you know, you have all your little add-ons and the little extras. Now, see what we do is, for most of the cars, the trunk is intact. We make sure that it does open. And most of the cars, of course, have a key for the trunk. They don't have the little key fob because they're older cars. We will um, loan you the key. Your extras will be in the truck, okay? And we use, we're going to wrap them very discreetly. Put them in brown paper. And we wrap them individually. And then we put them all in one brown paper bag. Because we may be a little shady, but we are environmentally conscious. We don't use plastic. So you can feel good about your purchase. You're, you're saying I love you to Mother Earth while you enjoy other things so you can rest easy knowing that we're environmentally conscious that's a new thing that I started because I actually care about the environment alright you, uh, you said that you were not interested in the Whitman sampler can you tell me why you would not be interested in that again with the chocolate allergy look Jamie, can I call you Jamie I don't care. That's your name. Jamie. Do you, do you understand the difference between literal and figural? Figurative? Figurative. That means it's, it's just a manner of speaking. It's not real. Well, I'm literally telling you that a lot of what I'm telling you is figurative. Okay. So, I'm going to have something out there for you. I'm going to figure out something that we can do for you. I mean, I cannot have you walking out of here with just that. Because my fear is now that you've gotten out of your, your little comfort zone, you're never going to do it again because the payoff will not be worth what you've put yourself through to come here. I mean, it must have been scary to come here. What do you mean it's scarier to be here? I don't... You give me all these mixed signals, and I don't know what to do with you, Jamie. So I'm gonna. Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So you don't want a Whitman sampler. Is your chocolate allergy a euphemism for something that I'm not aware of? Do you have hang-ups about stuff or? Okay then, what about the Hershey's mix? You know, because you get the bag with the Hershey bars, the Mr. Good bar, Crackle. What else is in that bag? Oh, Special Dark. Yeah, so I'm going to put a little bag of Hershey's little goodies in there for you. And I think you're going to be very happy with what you got. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. 
I'm gonna give it to you for a deal, but look, you have to promise you will not show it to anyone. You leave it in that bag until you get home, okay? Don't get so excited that you got out of your comfort zone, that you go out of here and like put pictures of it on Facebook or whatever. Because we actually had somebody do that once. Did you see it? It was on the news one night. It was horrible. We really had to do some fancy footwork to get out of that one. Let me tell you. So I'm going to do the Hershey bag of the assorted chocolates. Okay. Now look. Here's what we'll do. I'm going to give it to you right now, kind of like uh, on consignment. I'm just going to give it to you, and then, uh, you know, you partake in whatever you want to partake, and then you can distribute with the discretion, depending on uh, of course, it's chocolate, so everyone loves chocolate. <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna do that. And then, if you will just bring in, can you do $200 by Friday? Because I would be good, 200 No, you would pay me. You, you pay me $200 for it. I mean, trust me, Abby. I know it sounds like a lot, but if you try it, you're gonna absolutely. What do you mean you don't want it at all? Again with this stupid m motor. You're gonna get the motor, okay? You're, you're getting the motor. We've already established that. I don't know how much it is. What does it matter? What difference? Fine. I'll look it up. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna go back and go to that. You... <laughs> It went away, just a second. This thing times out if you don't touch it like every two seconds. 2002. Okay. You want the whole thing, right? For the motor, it's $27. It is a deal. I know it's a deal. Go to a dealership and tell me how much they're gonna charge you because first of all, they're gonna charge you like they're going to need your firstborn to, to cover the labor cost to put it in. Are you putting it in yourself? Well, aren't you handy? I wouldn't have the first clue how to do that. Like, you know how to get it out of there? That's like magic. How do you know how to do that? See, to me, people who can do stuff like that, it's like they have a superpower. I wish I could do stuff like that. No, I don't want to actually learn. I just want to, like, already know. I don't want to learn it. I want to just know, like magic. I don't want to have to do anything to acquire it. That's, that sucks. Alright, so, are you okay with that price? I'm gonna write that down. Now, are you paying in cash? Are you sure you don't know Clarice? Clarice should have been the one to tell you that you cannot come here without a burger. I could starve to death. I could freaking starve to death. I think I have figured out what... I think I know what this is about. Mm-hmm. It was Michelle, wasn't it? She's getting me back. That's what that's why you're here. That's why you're acting like you don't have any idea what I'm talking about. Yeah. She's getting me back for that little play prank I played on her on her birthday. And she sent you in here to give me a headache this afternoon, didn't she? Don't lie. Michelle sent you in here. Cause it's totally no, it's it's so Michelle. It's just like don't act like you don't know who Michelle is. You know, you know who Michelle is. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about her last name. How many Michelles could there be? I mean, nobody names their kid Michelle anymore. How many Michelles do you think live in this town? There's like one or half a one. We I don't think we even have a complete Michelle. So, yeah. If I had a daughter, I think I would name her Michelle. 
because she would be the only one in her class. You also never hear the name Julie anymore, or Tracy. Like, when I was growing up, every other girl was named Michelle. Like, seriously. And now nobody is. It's weird. So, that has nothing to do with anything, but I know Michelle sent you here. That's fine. You tell her I said hey, and I'm gonna really get her on her next birthday if she thinks what I did on the last one was bad. I am going to get her so good. I'm going to start planning right now what I'm going to do to her. And she is not going to survive it. She's going to end up in a cement mixer. And I don't mean in a fun way this time. $27. Now with tax, there's tax. You cannot escape tax anywhere you go. Have you, did you just come here? You pay taxes everywhere you go in this country. Tax, tax. They tax you no matter what you do. All your money gets taxed going in, coming out, and then when you die, they tax it again. It's just awesome. Okay. So, you are going to pay a total of $29.12. 29 12 Oh, no, we don't take cards. We don't do cards here. Um, we don't like to have a trail, you know? We don't do that here, so we only take cash. Did you bring cash? Who goes around with a hundred dollar bill? How do you not have any change? I have like two dollars in my purse. Um, I don't have any change. I can't give you change for a hundred. Or is that your way of telling me that you do want to make another purchase? Because nobody has a hundred dollars. What are you, Scrooge McDuck? How do you just have a hundred dollar bill? Nobody has a hundred dollar bill. Okay, look, if you want to have, if you want to buy extras, you don't, you don't have to play coy with me, okay? You can just tell me what you want and it's fine. Do you want a Butterfinger? You have more than enough to buy a couple, actually. Yeah, they're in the, uh, little treat box over there. Just in the treat box. Mm-hmm. No, you won't find a Butterfinger in there. Yes, I know, your chocolate allergy. You're not going to have to worry about a chocolate allergy because there's no chocolate in there, okay? It's not chocolate. Oh my god, you are so adorable. Okay, but let me tell you, if you did want a Butterfinger, I could sell you two Butterfingers for 50 bucks. So, And that's actually a really good deal because when you unwrap them, of course, make sure you're at home alone when you do. Um, Oh, man. Take it out and just mm, smell. You'll be able to tell. It's really good. It's really good, Butterfinger. Really good. Okay. So, well, how about this? We'll do three Butterfingers. I can do three. It, 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 it would save you a, a couple bucks because you have 29.10 here, but I will give you, I will give you the third one for like, I don't know, 20 bucks. Yeah, so basically, that's gonna like, that'll be the hundred. So, yeah. No, I'm serious. What do, what do you mean? Okay, well, why don't you tell me what you're interested in? I mean, like, what, what do you, do you want to feel later? No, no. We don't sell Snuggies. I don't even know where you would get one of those anymore. That, well, if you want to cuddle on the couch, you want to cuddle up on the couch under a blanket and watch AMC, well, you could probably do that with several selections from that Whitman sampler that I mentioned. You don't have enough for that, though. Um, tell you what, though, I could do like a half. Let me do a half of a sampler. It's, I'm giving you a deal. I'm gonna do half of a sample. No, that's, we're done. Can I have, just, you see that? Stick your money in there, and then you wait here, and I will go make sure that your car is ready, and then I will come back here 
and I will give you a key. I'm going to give you a key to that car. Now, what you're going to need that for? Now, the doors are not locked, but the trunk is locked. So, we leave the trunks locked all the time. So, you're going to need the key to get into the trunk. Hmm? You cannot open the trunk without it. So, you open the trunk, you're going to find a little package in there, a little parcel. Do not forget to take that with you. Just tuck it under your jacket, okay? And get your motor, and then you can be on your, your way, okay? So, we'll do that. I, you are not going to regret this purchase, let me tell you. So, we have you down here for half. You're really going to love it. I'm going to give you the good half. And just remember too, now do you need a magnifying glass? Do you need that? You look very different when I do this. <laughs> well, if you already have one, then I, I won't try to sell you one. You're out of money anyway. So, I'm going to do that. And it's the perfect day for it too. Yeah. Because, well, it's a nice day. You know, you, you want to be very careful, especially with the little coconut bonbons in there. Don't ever eat those when there's a thunderstorm going on. It will freak you out. You will be messed up. Don't take those. Okay. So, all right. Um, we're also running a special. I just had a little pop-up. It reminded me. Um, we, we also have a special on, um sling blades if say you know like if there's somebody in your life that um you know just maybe if they could be you know so it's, if you just would like to have a little more peace in your life we have a sling blade and it um is wielded by a person that we know and we call him big bob now big bob loves to help people. He has a very generous heart, and he loves to bring peace to the world, one whack at a time. So, we, Big Bob is offering a special to our customers. New customers get 5% off on Saturday nights, only Saturday nights, and um, so if you are in need of Big Bob's uh, sling blade service, is there anyone that you would like to, uh, hmm? Of course, we can discuss that at another time. But just know that that is a special that is running through the rest of uh, spring and is uh, going to expire on the first day of summer because Big Bob does not like to uh, sling in the heat. So once it starts to get too hot, he takes the summer off, but on over in the fall, he fires it up again. So anytime you might uh, need to bring some calm into your life, just stop by, and um, we can we can see about selling you a sling blade. Sling blades are they're nice things to have, you know. I've had to buy a few myself. <laughs> My life's a lot calmer now. I'm gonna put in here that we did discuss that. If you are interested in any sling blades in the future, you just let us know, okay? Because we have a direct line to be nobody else here does. He only works with us here at the Shady Scrap. So we have you all set. I'm going to uh, print your receipt, which is going to explode within 60 seconds of you walking out of here, because we don't want any evidence of it. You just stick it in your pocket, but remember to take it out before you go, because you do not want that exploding in your pocket. Now I'm going to go package up your half box of Whitman samplers and I'm going to take it out to your car and you wait right here and we'll get you all squared away. Is there anything else I can do for you today? Well, Jamie, it was very nice to meet you and I promise you, after you try this, you're going to become a very, very happy, loyal customer of the Shady Scrap. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a 